Well, this is the culprit, an AC window unit. Fire officials say it was plugged into a mounted power strip. The fire broke out early Sunday morning in a third floor art room at Westbrook High School. When we arrived, the fire was actually coming out of the air conditioning unit on the third floor. Today, a fire inspector gives the AC unit a once over. Fire officials saying it should not have been plugged into a power strip in the first place. The message is you do not want to plug any uh, toaster ovens, microwaves, air conditioning units into any power strips or surge protectors. They're not designed to handle that amount of current. The sprinkler system did its job containing the fire to that one room, but it did cause significant water damage in the rooms below. The administrative office is on the second floor and a city council meeting room on the first floor. The superintendent got an inside look. A lot of ceiling tiles are down. A lot of water, a lot of water damage is what it looked like. Surf Pro could be here for weeks, cleaning the mess left behind. Luckily, the expensive equipment, such as laptop computers, were spared destruction. We would only have maintenance people there. The superintendent says the custodial staff are the only people in this section of the building this time of year, but he said they wouldn't have been here on the weekend. Nobody was in there. Will this fire and the massive cleanup efforts delay the start of the new school year? Students are due back on September 1st. At this point, I hope that we'll be able to be on track because we are planning to be fully open uh, in this new school year, five days a week. Um, at this point, we really can't say for sure. So here's the good news. The superintendent says the fire happened during summer break. They didn't have a school full of students to evacuate, and nobody was hurt. In Westbrook, Jim Keithley, WMTW News 8.